say, I'm finna get up out of here. Is there someone in here that wants me to leave? Yep. And yep. So here we are in sunny Los Angeles, right off the infamous Santa Monica Boulevard. And oh, I got a surprise for y'all today. Here we are at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery. There are so many famous people buried here. And this is supposed to be one of the world's most beautiful cemeteries. Look at all the palm trees. All right, we finna go in there and take a look. Y'all look at this. It don't get no more LA than this. They got a whole security booth <laughs> for you to walk in at the front of the cemetery. This looks like a movie lot. Look at all the action, all the cars, the fountain. Come on, my man right there. You can take pictures with it. Look how beautiful these grounds are. Let's see if we can just, there's peacocks walking around. I just got random peacocks. I just got random peacocks. Hello, peacock. Wow. Look at these headstones. Gregorian Grigor. Grigor. never seen a, a headstone with Jesus hanging on the cross before. Oh, wow. I wonder what about over here has all of these peacocks? I've never seen a white peacock. Is that an albino peacock? I would want, how would y'all feel? Would y'all want peacocks resting on y'all's final resting there? Are peacocks aggressive? I don't know, guys. But I'm not gonna stay to find out. Wow. Y'all, I ain't gonna gas you. I'm kind of feeling this graveyard, man. You ain't supposed to be doing video here, apparently. But y'all know me, man. My rule, y'all like to kick me out. Straight up and down. Straight up and down. I am an independent filmmaker. I will do what it takes to get my shot. And if that calls for me being escorted out of the Hollywood Forever Cemetery, <laughs> then that's just what it is. But I owe it to all of my shifters out there to showcase what these cemeteries are looking like. Wow. Somebody went all out for this one, ain't it? This is for Gilberto. He was born in 97. Oh, wow. He died in June. I think that's June 2022. Ah, man. Gilberto, man. Your family miss you, my boy. You got a dope spot, man. You got a dope resting spot. Blessings to you, my boy. Oh, yeah. They came and did you right. They did you right. What are y'all thinking? Yeah, I know the question. All of my empaths out there, what are y'all feeling in this cemetery? Oh, wow, that's kind of dope. You have that big tree, palm trees. I'm gonna get, let me see if I can find some like real famous graves while we're over here. Right now, I'm just kind of giving y'all
breakdown of people who's here. James Milligan, beloved husband and father, 1876, 1946. Isaac was a Mason, 1879. <gasps> There's somebody named Axel, but they're a guy. You got a cool name, Brody. My daughter's name's Axel. Interesting. I don't know, there's something about this. And you got a dude over there resting under a tree, under a tombstone. That should let you know how peaceful it is over here. But you got random workers just chilling out next to tombs. <laughs> oh, wow. What do y'all think about this section over here? What is, does anybody know why people leave water and water bottles on top of gravestones? Does anybody have any information on that? Put it in the comments. I would definitely love to hear your thoughts. Look at all these peacocks. I want my, uh, my final resting place to be surrounded by alligators. Albino alligators. You heard me. <laughs> you gotta cross a moat <laughs> if you wanna come holler at D Sprat. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Right. This is cool, man. Over there seems a little crowded. Let's go look at the back. Let's go look at all these. All these. Tombstones back here. I wonder why it's so crowded in the back. But what I do like about all these headstones is they have their pictures on them. So not only do you know who was here or who is here, you know what they look like. How do y'all feel about that? Would y'all want y'all's picture on y'all's headstone? Remember, you know, they, your headstones be lasting about 150, 200 years, man. I think it would be kind of cool to have your, your picture on your final resting place. are beautiful everyone's here we're just paying our respects to you all miss pelagia you look like you didn't play miss Berichico, i know you didn't play i know you didn't play look at you it almost looked like you smiling a little bit i know you didn't play so y'all play with her if y'all want to. She looked like she was about her business. Look at all these. This almost looks like a cornfield. Like, but they're, they're tombstones. Like, walking through a corn maze. I wonder what it means when the peacocks genuinely find a place that they like. They usually all hover around like certain graves. I wonder if that means anything. What do peacocks symbolize? Yo, these headstones are tall. 
I'm like six seven. Okay, I'm five ten. But still, you get the picture. Oh, it look like that might be something fresh. Hello, all, all that are here. Oh wow. That's hard. That's dope. They're real elaborate out here in Hollywood. And what I realized, a lot of these graves seem to be like I don't I don't know. I don't know how you would like foreign foreign names. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like all these people over here. Baldman. Like, I don't know. I don't know. That's cool, but you know, LA has always been one big melting pot. So it's a ton of people. Ton of people. Ah, my man. Your headstone is raw. Your picture's raw, buddy. What's up, Simon? What's up, Simon? Oh, the Ubers. What's up, the Ubers? What's up, Ubers? What's up, what's up? Oh, wow. That's kind of wild. Okay, y'all, I thought this was really cool. This is for my own personal benefit. Like, I love, like, the old gangsters and mobsters. This is Benjamin Bugsy Siegel. I'm gonna put some information about him maybe up in this video so you can maybe know who he was. But he's an old time mobster. He's responsible, they say, for like developing Las Vegas. He was killed in his home. Uh, he was shot through a window. It was like, it was real cowardly because the person that shot him, like, you know, there was no honor in it. They shot him through a window a whole bunch of times. Like he didn't see it coming. Did y'all hear that? Did you hear that noise? Nobody's in here but me, but something definitely just... Hello? Y'all, my skin is crawling right now. Did y'all hear that? Did that come from this door? Y'all, oh. I have a strange feel. I just got chills. Did y'all hear steps? Can you make that knocking sound happen again? Y'all, so I was sitting there talking and I heard like this banging sound, but literally nobody is in here but me. And I don't think nobody's in that door. If someone's in here, can you make that knocking sound one more time? All right, y'all, let's get back. Oh, I just got nauseated real quick. Yeah, it's something in here. Is someone here? Come on, let's get some investigating going, y'all. I know we ain't supposed to be doing this, but let's, let's see what we can find. So Bugsy, I'm here to see if I can get in contact with you. Feel free to talk to me through this box. No. Benjamin, are you here? Yeah. How long have you been here? Don't 
Do you have any regrets in life? Are there any negative spirits in here? Satan. Benjamin, Bugsy, were you a good guy? Can you tell me your nicknames? Do you feel like there was any honor in your death? Do you feel like you made many bad decisions? Somewhat. What's the one thing you regret the most? How does it feel almost being remembered almost a hundred years later? Did you always want to be infamous? What was your driving force? Grief. Oh, wow. Do you feel like money is the root of all evil? So what would you change if you could in your past? Do you feel like you gained the world but lost your soul? Is there someone dark watching me in here? What is your name? Tall. Do you like when people call you Bugsy? Don't. Never. I think I think he didn't like being called Bugsy by people. I think that's why he even put it on his in his grave. Do you know my name? Do you like when people come visit you? How do y'all feel with Bugsy being buried around y'all? Did you call him a dick? Do you have problems with, with Benjamin? Yes. Why? Why do you have problems with him? Do you not like his past? Can y'all not forgive him in the afterlife? Do you feel like he did a lot of bad things? I do. So Benjamin, what you got to say for yourself, man? People think you a bad dude, bro. I know y'all heard that. It came from that way just now.
Can you make that knocking sound happen again? Y'all, I'm finna get up out of here, man. <laughs> Say, I'm finna get up out of here. Is there someone in here that wants me to leave? Yep. Yep. Is that is that a spirit that's knocking in here? Me? Can you tell me your name? Yeah, what's your name? Did that say Fanny at first? If it did say Fanny, there is a Fanny right here. I don't know. We're gonna go back and check that. Lieutenant. Okay. Okay. So is Bugsy still causing hell in the afterlife? A quarter. There is a quarter right here. November. I don't know. But there was a quarter right there. All right, Bugsy, we're going to let y'all rest. And whoever else is in here, live. Do you miss life? Live. Okay, Bugsy, tell me real quick. What's the one food that you miss the most? Candy. Candy? <laughs> what about drink? What do you miss the drink? Okay. Well, I appreciate your time talking to me. Can anybody, can y'all tell me goodbye? All right, y'all.